Hi everyone, I'm Law of the West, and this video is going to be about the third variant in the Star Lancer series that was revealed at this year's CitizenCon, and that's the Star Lancer BLD. The build is the construction model version out of the Star Lancer family, and it specializes in fabricating large buildings for outposts. It has almost all the same features that the other ships in the Star Lancer series have, like rooms for all the crewmen, a galley, and a rec room. But the main difference between it and the other models is that the BLD has two drone bays, one on each side of the ship. And underneath each of them is an arm that's used to resupply the drones. The build has a total of four large drones, and two filler stations that feed them that can each hold 16 SEUs worth of material. All the drones are operated through a single station that's in the control room. The ship was designed to be able to carry enough material to create the foundational elements that it would need to create a starting base with. Its dimensions are 83 meters by 52 meters by 16 meters. And for components, it has two size 2 power plants and one large shield. For weapons, it has two remote turrets that have two size 4 guns each, while the pilot controls four size 4 guns and 16 size 3 missiles. And it can carry 128 SCUs of cargo. A lot of people have been referring to the Star Lancer series as their home away from home, which quite frankly is exactly what a large ship ought to be. It should provide full amenities for the crew as well as some additional creature comforts. In addition to that, the BLD also has some built-in fabrication abilities, and it can carry a rover-sized vehicle. So if you want to add an onboard spawn point to its list of features, you can bring a medevac along with you. But out of all the Star Lancers, the BLD is the one that holds my interest the most. It seems to hit that sweet spot for people who want more out of base building than the construction grav card of the CSVFM provides, but doesn't want to invest in something that's as big as the Pioneer. I like how you can use the BLD to act as your command and control center while you're building your base. You can also act as a substitute for a number of other types of buildings, which lets you focus your attention on constructing other vital structures and defenses. And this ship has no competition when it comes to this tier level of base building, at least for now. So if you want to indulge in that aspect of gameplay and at that level, you're going to have to own this ship. My guess is that we're eventually going to get ships from Consolidated Outland for every tier level of building, and then over time we're going to get a smattering of various tiered level builders from a bunch of other manufacturers. And for anyone who owns a Pioneer, I wouldn't be surprised if the BLD ended up being the new loaner ship for it once it gets released. Well that's going to be it for this video on the Star Lancer BLD. I've been your host, Law of the West. Thanks for watching, and take care.